Hello, it's Sarah. And I have some cool ATCs to share today. Um, I saw a video by, hold on, what is the name? Scrap Bliss. And I want to say her name is Yvonne. Um, it was called Valentine's Day ATCs. And what I loved about it was she was using burlap. So my burlap paper, this is an ATC size piece that I just didn't do. You know, I had all my burlap flowers out and um, lots of tonal things. So she pulled, she also used cork paper, um, burlap. Oh, the corrugated cards from Michaels that everyone's been getting. I finally got a pack of those. I had a coupon. Actually, today I have a coupon too. Oh, I have to go over there. Um, so I totally went crazy with these things and I love them. I love the tones and her video, she actually does a walk through with her first one with, um, how she does it. Um, she's a beautiful artist. She designs for a company boutique something, but anyway, go check her out, Scrap Bliss, and um, you'll see what I mean, but let me show you what I mean. I just pulled a bunch of different buttons I had, and um, trims, and all types of stuff, so this is the first one I made, and this is actually, I'm going to go down a little bit. This one, I pretty much just followed her, tutu her tutorial. This was um, the, the uh, corrugated board in the back, then there's a piece of lace on top. It's like a, uh, it's not lace. It's a fabric lace that I got at Joann's. It's like a uh, fabric, you know, and I use these for my needle books and stuff. Then this is a piece of the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, that's, <coughs> excuse me, um, the burlap. And I just free, like I kind of drew the hearts on the back, but all of hers had hearts on them because it was a Valentine's Day. So I just followed that theme and kind of made my own just pulling but this one I did kind of follow using what I had in my stash because she put an applique on the on top of the um, heart she cut she put this lace trim on the bottom she used um, I guess this is called jute cording um, for bows and things and little just what I, whatever I had that was similar to what she had because she even used these little um, I don't even know what they're called but I think you get them in the wedding department those little pearl stamen things and then just put a pop of pink so this is pretty much like a lot like what she did i put the pearls atop i mean i can't remember exactly what hers look like now but i tried to follow along with her oh i also trimmed everything like you know how you would distress the edges of a normal atc or something with inks and stuff she used buttermilk paint i actually used light buttermilk um because that's what i had and i think this is like even antique white or something but I think that was a little too dark I wanted it to be a little whiter excuse me um anyway that's my first one and then for the second one I I just changed it up like instead of using the corrugated for the background I think this background is cork and then I put um some of the burlap I have but it's in the more creamy color and then I use the corrugated heart on this one so I just changed up all the different um uh embellishment um what am I trying to say papers and changed up the embellishments because then this one's very similar like the way I did it I put the lace on the bottom but I used a different lace and a different trim so it's kind of the design is pretty much the same but it's just I didn't put a um yeah, applique I just used up one of the buttons because I knew I wanted to make it like gold I love this button and this and I just thought with the heart it would go and then pulled some metal pieces and then just a flower and I backed them all I gotta sign them and then I edged some of them like this one I might have even taken some gold uh, of course my good old Vinca what is this Inca gold and rub that on there so that one says love and then this one I did in a silver version. So I think this is burlap in the background. Put a layer of that. Because um, she has tulle. And I mean, you could put, these were shabby chic, I think. And I don't have a ton of different, like, I, that's not my, I tried it. And I love it. But when other people do it, it's better. I think they do a better job. Um, 
Then I just pulled some wooden things. So I tried to keep it like just tonal or whatever, I guess you want to say. Um, so this is silver. I added silver embellishments and then one of my um, burlap uh, flowers with a cork um, heart on this one. And just kept this one simple. Like this one's kind of really simple, but still so cool. Like I just love, I was so inspired by hers. They were so cool. And then this one again, this one has the corrugated background. I put a piece of the burlap going this way. It has a burlap heart on top and applique bow. I think Miss D gave me those. Thank you, Miss D. And just a little metal corner to tie that in with some flowers. So this one kept real simple too and a few little blings. And then the last one I love because I just feel like this lettering and this butterfly match so well. These, I think I got these ribbons from either Tresors, I think, not ribbons, flowers. They're already made and they come like that. Um, this is again cork. Then this burlap is from, um, I got it at Michael's and I used the coupon and it's put away. But it's actually uh, a roll of burlap, I'll show you, it's by Celebrate It. And it comes like this. I mean, it's pretty covered up already, but this was really cool. So I'm going to use, try using this again. It comes with the lace on top of it. And I really just like the lace, like even to cut that off there, it's pretty cool. And it's a big, it's a lot for 10 bucks. And then I use the coupon. I always use a coupon. Um, so you can't really tell, but that's what's kind of going. It's laid up and down. And then a corrugated heart. Um, I put all, I have these little tiny pearls and I love how that turned out. I put this applique flower with a heart uh, brad and a little heart um, embellishment there and pearls. So real simple again, very simple to do. And you know what I wanted to see if I can even get these in, these are the uh, definitely by far I, I would say the chunkiest ATCs I've ever made. So I want to see if, if I could find them. My little, um, here they are, the sleeves will even go over these because I am very doubtful. I'd probably have to put them in a different kind of um, like bag, baggy or something if I can't even get these open. Here we go. So let's see. Well, definitely this is hanging off. So I don't, I'm not, let me see if, well, this one probably will. Let's, I'm sorry if this is boring. I'm going to come back with another video. I filmed, I'm going to film them separately because um, it would just be too long and that way people can, aha, this might make it. I don't think it's going to, nope. I don't think these are going to be able to go into the sleeves. These are the definitely the most chunky because then she even popped these up. Um, I mean, maybe like I didn't pop them all up. I don't know. I guess I did. This one I didn't. But there, yes, I did. I did. Because she, she that's the way she taught it, the, the way she did the tutorial, and I was kind of following along with her. So I kind of just did what she did. And then as an afterthought, I was like, yeah, they're really not going to go in my sleeves. So I'm going to have to find another way to package these. I actually saw a video by Live Love Scrap Bona, and she makes little boxes, little ATC boxes. And I think I'll make one of them. Um, I have it right here. Do I? Anyway, I'm going to make, yep, I do. I have the directions right here. I meant to make some. Um, she has several different sizes that she makes that I'm going to try and do that. And then if I were to swap these or something, I could just put them in the, uh, an ATC box. So they're super cute though. I absolutely love them. So I'll put the, um, information for, um, Scrap Bliss in the description box. And thanks for watching.